Tonight on Friday Night, we show some of the winners in the TV Guide Awards, and I review Drowning Mona and The Next Best Thing. Plus performances from Faith Hill and comedian Danny Villapondo. And music from Lit, Christina Aguilera, and All Saints. Hi everybody and welcome to Friday Night. Well, next Tuesday is Super Tuesday for the presidential candidates, so we're going to try to make this a Super Friday with lots of music and comedy. Starting with a woman who has successfully crossed over from country to pop with songs that push the established sexual boundaries of country music. Here is Faith Hill singing her current top five hit, Breeze. Thanks a lot for coming back to the show. It's time for this week's voting, starting with your favorite music video from three top ten songs, including Lone Star with the country's number one song, Amazed. I wanna spend the rest of Amazed by you. In sync with their latest hit, Bye Bye Bye. And Backstreet Boys with their ballad hit, Show Me the Meaning of Being Lonely. Show me the meaning of being lonely. And while you're in the voting mood, answer our viewers' poll questions, including... What city would you most like to see us do our show from? Who should win the Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Actor? And who should win the Screen Actors Guild Award for Best Actress? So vote now by placing your free call to 1-800-JUPE-PICK, or you can vote for these choices and a second internet-only jukebox by accessing our website at nbc.com slash Friday night. And we'll be back with more comedy and your jukebox winners right after this. Welcome back to Friday Night. Several popular movies are now available at the video stores, including... I said I love you. Tay Diggs as an author who has written a book that details the secrets of his friends in The Best Man. Who are you? Il messaggero no è importante. Priest Gabriel Byrne investigates assault claims by Patricia Arquette in Stigmata. Where are we exactly? Chesapeake Bay is a couple miles off that way. And Harrison Ford discovers that his deceased wife was having an affair with the deceased husband of Congresswoman Kristen Scott Thomas in Random Hearts. A film that no matter how hard it tries, never develops a pulse. Well, you may recall that at one time I had a role in Random Hearts, but things ultimately didn't work out. Take a look. The paper said your husband was a lawyer. New Hampshire. <laughs> he has an office here. What a stupid comment. I was thinking about your mouth. Okay. Not one of Harrison Ford's finest moments. Well, some better moments occurred Grammy night, especially for our jukebox competitors, including eight-time Grammy winner Santana with Smooth. Yeah, like Multiple Grammy winners TLC with No Scrubs. And Best New Artist Grammy winner Christina Aguilera with Jeannie in a Bottle. And after 10,000 votes, TLC may have won the Grammys, but they feel like scrubs here, coming in third behind the Grammy King Santana, who hits a rare bump losing to the new teenage queen of pop. Here's your winner, Christina Aguilera with Jeannie in a Bottle. Welcome back. In the second jukebox, our website users got to choose between All Saints and their beach song, Pure Shores, Lenny Kravitz's Fill and Sweet with I Belong to You, and D'Angelo with Untitled. And it was no contest, as D'Angelo is, well, unvoted for, and Lenny doesn't belong to enough people, as the song from the beach movie dominates. Well, here are your winners making a comeback. It's All Saints with Pure Shores. All right, well, that's going to do it for our show tonight. Thanks a lot for watching. Next week, we start our Oscar countdown. Hope you'll join us. And until then, have a great week. We'll see you next Friday. Yeah.